The newest Neverfull BB from Louis Vuitton. Is it worth it? Let's do a handbag review. Hello everyone, welcome back to another mommy review where I review all things for the love of. Today I am checking out the Neverfull BB that just got released from Louis Vuitton. I'm going to be doing a full handbag review going over all the pros and cons related to bags. Hopefully it will help you in deciding whether this bag is worth it for you. Now before I get started, if you like the content on this channel, please consider giving this video a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel. Thank you so much for considering and on with the video. So the Neverfold has been part of the Louis Vuitton's classic line, at least I think since 2007 when it was initially released it was supposed to be like a seasonal beach bag but it was like instantly popular in 2023 it was like elevated to a whole new popularity status by being waitlisted to get a hold of this handbag so in august in 2023 this year we were given the newest and smallest of all of the neverfold the neverfold bb Spoiler alert, this handbag is currently sold out online, but I think if you wait patiently, it will eventually come out if you check it out regularly on the website. So as you can see for the Louis Vuitton Neverfull BB, it's just so ultra cute. They say that a Neverfull will never go out of style. Do you think that is the same case for this Neverfull BB? Let's have a look. So for this full handbag review, I plan on going over all the pros I found related to the handbag and the cons related to it. Hopefully it'll help you in deciding. So let's start with the pros for this handbag. Pros, of course, number one, I think for everybody, super obvious is that it's so adorable. Isn't it so cute? I mean, like, it is a mini bag, so of course everyone's gonna think it's really cute, but like, it just looks so dang adorable. I mean, that is like the major pro why most people are picking up this handbag. And number two for pro, if you are a mini bag fan, I think that you must, you must pick up this Neverfull BB because, like, if you are looking to collect like all the mini bags that they've come out with, like the Speedy Nano and such, like they had the Nano No in a way. So it's just a matter of time that they come out with like a Neverfold Nano or like a smaller version. Like this is the golden grail of mini bags. Although I am a little surprised that it's a little bit bigger than I originally thought it would be. If you look at the product details, it tells you that the dimensions is 9.4 by 5.4 by 3.4 five inches and it's actually quite spacious which leads me to the next pro which is its practicality it's actually at least better than a um, micro matisse i would say which functionally speaking i feel like you can't really put very much in it but that is not the case for this louis vuitton never full bb but i do find that louis vuitton is a little bit late to the game for mini bags I would have expected this like Neverfold to come out like way beforehand, but definitely fits more than a Nano Speedy, I would say. It holds all the essentials and is good for like running errands. Can hold as much as, or if not more than a Speedy 20 or like, I would say a medium Gucci Marmont flat. So definitely holds your sunglasses, your wallet, your phone, your lotion, and like AirPods, and maybe like a small umbrella as well. Another major pro related to this handbag is the zipper closure that's been added to this mini bag. So a lot of people who don't like the Neverfull because like it's just one gaping opening, this is like their solution. It has a zipper for added security. I think that's such a wonderful addition that if you choose to zip it up, that is an option. Another pro is that for this mini bag Neverfold, it does come with a zipper coin purse, as you can see in this image right here. It's a nice bonus, but I must say, I feel like it's a little bit disproportionate to the handbag. I'm not entirely in love with it. 
The other pro related with this handbag is its versatility. You can wear it on the crooks on your arm, you can wear it as a crossbody with the crossbody strap, and also you can use it as a top handle. A pro that I don't think many people mention about is this D-ring that is attached on the outside, which I think will be a great option if you want to put a little bag charm to add a little bit of personality and lifestyle your own handbag. And last but not least, I want to bring up that another pro is, is not a waitlisted handbag. So if it becomes available, you can click on it and purchase it right away. Now on to the cons. Hopefully this will help you decide whether this handbag's worth it. And also like if you need someone to convince you, here are a couple of reasons why this handbag may not be your best option. Number one, of course, is the size. It is a smaller bag. I don't know if the mini bag trend is going to be forever. Probably not, I would say. So I just don't feel like it's a classic enough size to kind of carry all your essentials. And I don't know if it's as classic as, let's say, a Neverfold MM. Another con is that it doesn't have feet on the bottom of this handbag, which is, I don't think it's like a major con. After all, it is a beach bag, so you usually don't expect feet on the bottom of a beach bag. Another con, of course, I think for most people thinking about like maintenance, is the vachetta that's on it. I feel like I would get so stressed out carrying it, making sure that the vachetta stays nicely, that it like ages well over time. So that would be a major con for me. I would probably wait out if they come out with like a Neverfull BB in like Demir Bin. That would be really nice. Another con that a lot of bag holics, handbag holics, I'm mentioning is the webbing strap that it comes with or this guitar strap. I'm just not on board with the strap. It's kind of heavy after a long day. It looks really big on the handbag as well just like too big for my taste i think just doesn't fit in my opinion of course you can always sell it in the pre-love market i think it fetches for at least around 700 dollars if you want to get some money back for this handbag another con related to it is the craftsmanship so the first shipment of these never fold BB has already come out and a lot of people who have received it mentioned to watch out for uneven placements of the straps as well as inconsistent stitching. So watch out for that if you're picking one up from the store. That's been coming up quite consistently. And last but not least, the major con I would see is probably the pricing. It's currently priced at $3,000 Canadian. That is not a cheap price tag for a small canvas bag. And I know that like affordability is like all relative and a lot of people, if you're picking up a handbag from Louis Vuitton, this is considered affordable. But I think, I feel like this is not like a true classic that will last like for ages and like will still look timeless in let's say 10 years time. I feel like a Neverfull MM is a little bit more classic. So that's why I'm thinking like, the, this price tag just i have a hard time justifying it so those are my major pros and cons related to this never full bb handbag i think in the future i'm looking forward to seeing like a demir bin or maybe like a demir serve version i think these would look so cute and like different colorways depending on like the different editions that come out the special editions that come out i think they'll probably come out with other versions in a way, I think it reminds me a little bit of like the smaller crossbody longchamp toe. The style, I mean, I can kind of see it. In my opinion, I feel like it is still a little bit small, at least from a mommy point of view. I would prefer a little bit of extra room in my handbag. But I think it feels almost like an entry a novelty piece. What do you guys think? Definitely, I feel like this is not a handbag for everyone, but is it a forever bag? I think at the end of the day, if you like it, that's what matters the most. But if you're doubting it, then it's probably your clue to send it back. Well, that's my quick review on the latest Louis Vuitton Neverfull BB. Do you think it's worth it? If you have a choice and could 
get a hold of this handbag would you place it in your cart and add it to your collection i would love to know and if you already got a hold of this handbag do you love it or do you think it's a hard pass well that's it for today thank you so much for joining me on another mommy review and i'll see you next time take care and stay safe everyone bye for now